There you go, Rudy. I hope you have a wonderful day, Earth creature. <laughs> oh, cool! They're one through five, so going as a set. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, nice. Luckily, these came in time because the voice actors for these two are here. Hey guys, this is Evil Anarchy and today I'm in Pasadena and I'm at uh, TuneCon. I've got an early bird pass, so I'll be able to get in at 9. I just saw the VIP line, which I think they might get in a little bit earlier than early bird because it's a much more expensive ticket. I was kind of thinking of getting it, but I didn't, didn't think there'd be that many people here. It doesn't look like there's going to be that many people here. Everyone's probably down at TwitchCon at the moment. But uh, let's uh, wait in line and uh, head on inside. Yeah guys, so this line was actually pretty long. This was the VIP and early access line. It was like 50 to 100 people, and then the general admissions was only like 10 people. But I was also there kind of early, so maybe it just wasn't, you know, there was no one lined up yet. But yeah, here's all the other events that they run. I'm gonna be checking some of those out. I've already got some of them on my channel, so be sure to check them out. Love TuneCon, Pasadena Comic Con, love it as well. Be sure to check out my previous video. Can you your respect? Oh, sorry. No, sorry. Have Dude, a good that's morning. kicked in right now. Oh. oh. I'm running off of, oh, off of Starbucks earlier this morning. Early All right, there you go. Yep, yep. We're all right back right now. Oh, thank but, you. Um, thank Oh, nice. Luckily, these came in time because the voice actors for these two are here. Yeah, yeah. And then we have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Nice. And Team Fortress 2. And then the usual other prints and my book. Pet Shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Friend, friend from Connecticut. Oh, when that's, he heard, that's dope. he sent me this. So he owed, my friend owes me like $80. That's cool. This costs more than this table. <laughs> That's how it goes. But that signature was totally worth it. Don Bluth is definitely the star of the show today. He's got the panels and everyone's here for Space Ace and he's got some artists and voice actors here with him. But uh, he's uh, sitting on to the side over here and we'll see him in just a second. And up oh, there he is. Woo, Don Bluth, woo! But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of crazy awesome people here. I'll show that all later. I'm just sort of walking through this area here. Uh, Jeff here is a crazy man. He was like talking to people in line pretending to be the mayor of Pasadena. He's just messing around But yeah, lots of cool voice actors here this guy right here uh, This Jeff is actually also the voice of Johnny Bravo Then you got Greg Eagles who's uh, Grim from Billy and Mandy very cool We're gonna be checking out some voice actors in a little bit Definitely a lot of people here. Definitely someone for everyone, if that makes sense. Hi. Hello. Uh, I actually worked on a short film that you were in, uh, Chasing Fletcher Allen. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a. Heidi. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I was a friend of Jonathan uh, London. Uh, but it was cool. It was, I, I did all your uh, VFX scenes with the with the spacesuit and stuff. Ah, so I saw you on like the the cabin and <laughs> it was cool. I did like floor replacements and all that. Oh, but uh, it was cool. Like, uh, it was nice. Can we get you anything? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, what do you, what do you got here? Let's see. What was that? Let's see what you got. Oh yeah, this you, is the same thing over here? Yeah, both of the same. Actually, I think it's actually Yeah. <laughs> One different. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Could I get a? How, how much is this one? Um. So that with the autograph is forty. Forty. Could I get this one? Absolutely. Yeah. Card or cash today? Uh, card. Excellent. Sorry, Joey. Tell me that. Huh? What's your name? Nick. Yeah, you can. You can. You can head him. Like I did it. Uh. He's. A, he's a good friend of mine. He's a friend of a friend. Oh. He was. Uh, he was a teacher in my college. Got it. Uh. So, uh, one of my buddies put so, me onto so him did for- did you get credit for that? <laughs> no, no, I'd, I'd already graduated. Um, I work with one of his producer buddies a lot, uh, who's in Brazil. Oh, wow. 
because um, they do a lot of, uh, he does the whole Geekscape thing. Nice. Is this the unit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, I, I love Samurai Jack, man. It's great. I was really excited to meet Phil. I'd been wanting to meet him for a long time. I actually worked on a little short film he was in called Chasing Fletcher Allen. This is all the VFX shots and animations that I had done for that film. And, you know, ever since doing this, I just wanted to meet him. But he's also one of my favorite actors, and he's in one of my favorite films, Pulp Fiction. It's, it's freaky, but it happens. Look, you want to play blind man, go walk with the shepherd. But me, my eyes are wide fucking open. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, that's it for me. From here on in, you consider my... I'm not going to show the rest of the scene. I think we all know what happens, but, uh... Yeah, I love Pulp Fiction, one of my favorite films. Tarantino's a great director. Let me know what you guys think of classic films down below. Oh, cool! Would you like our seat at all? Uh, no, I'm good. <clears throat> I briefly worked for Cartoon Network. Did you really? What year? Uh, I, I wasn't in the building. Oh, okay. Um, I, there were some years there it was good to work for Cartoon Network and some years where it wasn't. Yeah, I was there maybe 2014, 2015. Yeah, talk about some years where it was and Cartoon Network just laid off a whole bunch of people. Just crazy. Uh, but yeah, Phil's great. I'm going to let him go in just a second now. Uh, I actually had a big conversation with him that I cut out here. I don't want to bore you guys with, you know, our small talk. Hi. These are one dollar. Yep. All VHS, one dollar each. Are they re like remastered, like reprints nope. or? These are the originals from the early nineties. Come with me. I have to talk to you later. Uh, You're fucking with me, right? I, I fuck you not. I mean, wait, that didn't come out right. <laughs> Man. So these are all the streamlined pictures. That's crazy. Um, leftover stock that they had that had been sitting in storage for well a long time. That's crazy, man. I got. I literally have this, but it's like. Not this good. It's not that good. Well, for one dollar, you can get the mint version. Oh my god! Um, but uh, yeah, and then uh, all this stuff's been sitting in storage about a year and a half ago. The guy who was storing it, yes, uh, Carl Masek, passed away in uh, 2010. Oh, that's unfortunate. And uh, somebody else was storing the stuff. Finally, was like, look, I need to move this stuff on. A friend of a friend calls me. We get up there. He's like, can you just take it away? I'm like, yeah, all right. You know, because he was going to toss it. I was like, well, don't do that. That's stupid. I, You know, I'm going to have to get one of everything. All right. <laughs> we can do that. I collect VHS, so this is a... All right. This is a gold mine. Um, oh, man. You're going to need a bigger bag. Yeah. Let's uh, grab one of those white, yeah, beige bags there. It, it's good. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I already got an ALA ticket too, so oh, okay, you can. Uh... Well, if you're going to get one of everything, we'll give you a free bag here. How's that? <laughs> oh, man. I love ALA. I can't believe this was at the ALA booth. This is not something I was expecting to find here. Uh, be sure to check out my ALA video before. I loved it. It was a great convention. I'm going next year. It's in January. It's going to be right next to. Uh, the other anime impulse in Pomona and uh, Pasadena Comic Con is going on as well, so it's going to be kind of a busy month for me. But yeah, this is such a great find. Look at all these like great vintage VHS. These VHS are as old as me. These are like 1992 sealed. That's just ridiculous. I, I bought 21 VHS here. I think three of them weren't sealed, and one of them was kind of in a meh condition but that's still an amazing find. Like you, like anywhere else, these would be like 20 to 50 bucks each, even on like eBay or like wherever. And he said he has more of these. I have to reach out to him and get more. He was so cool. I had a great conversation with him as well that I ended up coming out. I don't want to talk to, you know, like industry and business stuff and like put it on a video, but it was super cool. You know, the, he told me about some guests that they were having coming up and, uh, he didn't name drop anything, so he was very vague, but uh, it was a great conversation. But yeah, these VHS were just so popular. Everyone came around and were starting to buy them. I had to buy a full set 
Uh, my buddy David, who was here, he also came by and he bought a whole bunch. Look at this. He, he just grabbed like three of those Robot Carnival. I was like, what? I was like, there's other stuff. And he's like, no, I want Robot Carnival. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm like, like I don't, I'm not a big Robot Carnival fan. I was, I, I would have grabbed like all the three times three eyes or something, you know, if I wanted to grab more. It's just crazy. Uh, but here's a close up on everything they had here. This is just nuts. Look at all these. I got one of each. I think I had seen at least three or four people come by and buy full sets of what they were selling here, which is just crazy. One of the reasons the bag was so heavy was that they gave you some free stuff with your early access or VIP ticket. So I got these My Little Pony frames and this Loud House pin, this Tooncon pin, and these Nickelodeon socks. You can also see my signed Aku poster here. Thank you again, Phil. Uh, and then here's all my VHS that I bought. These were very heavy, so I left a little bit after this. But yeah, let's go check out the voice actors and signature area a little bit more and see what's going on over here. Lots of lines started developing throughout the day. Some people started rolling in a little bit later and they started getting some big lines. But uh, there's one voice actor I'm looking to meet specifically and that's Eric Bauza. He's here right, right there. You can see him sort of behind all these people. There was a lot of people around his booth. They weren't actually there for him. They were there for someone else and they were sort of lined up around his booth, unfortunately. But I was still able to go talk to him and uh, say hi. And there was some more signature booths off to the side here. These are some comic book artists and illustrators and cartoonists. Definitely a lot of artsy people here for signatures. Normally signatures tend to be just voice actors. I was really glad to see some artistic talent here signing stuff, because that's kind of rare, at least for his events go. Uh, maybe we'll find out at Lightbox and see if Lightbox has, you know, signatures as equal to this. <laughs> how's it going, man? Hey, man, how's it going? Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you, man. Oh, man. What you been up to? Uh, <laughs> not much. Hanging in there? <laughs> what you got? I hope you have a good day. Oh, I hope you have a good day, too, man. Can you give a hug? Sure. <laughs> That'll be $150. Just kidding. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you too, Rudy. Rudy, nice to meet you, Rudy. Aww. You know what? That's what happens. You pick one. You, what, what, which one would you like? Uh, who's your favorite? Yeah? Well, there's one that has everyone on it. You want Marvin? Yeah. Sure thing. Oh, here's a green just for Marvin. Alrighty. Let's do with the, with, actually the dark one. Dark green? Sure. Uh -huh. And it's R-U-D-Y? I understand. Yeah. <laughs> He's a hyperactive child, so... There you go, Rudy. I hope you have a wonderful day, Earth Creature. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, shut You better go. You look, you're going to miss your courage opportunity. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, man. Kids these days. In the ass. 
this week in the ass. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Multi-talented artist, voice actor, and he said he even worked in production, which my, is pretty cool. He's done everything. My parents are going to flip out when they hear that the first few minutes of this. <laughs> <laughs> in the ass. In the ass. It's They're Eric Bowza, like, everybody. Hey. Eric Bowza. Eric Bowza. <laughs> Eric Bowser is just an absolute powerhouse of the voice acting community, and he's so humble and down to earth. It's just great and refreshing to see. Uh, be sure to check the link down in the description if you want to go see the full interview with him. We also did some being boozled with him, so if you want to watch, you know, him do some animation voices while eating some nasty beans. But yeah, I think the last time I actually saw him in person was maybe at NerdBotCon, like pre-pandemic. That was so long ago. Oh man. But yeah, it was great to see him and catch up. I'm surprised he even remembered me from my face because I have a very forgettable face. <laughs> but I had a nice conversation with him as well, and I, you know, I'm not going to put that in there because it's a little personal. Uh, but uh, here's some of the other guests that they had You know, as I walk around the event. There's a lot of sellers here, a lot of resellers. Definitely a lot of voice actors came here to this event. A lot of... Uh, interesting voice actors i'll say that much i mean like why is the kool-aid man here like, but yeah i was really shocked to see phil lamar here as well you know again he's one of my favorite actors he's also at mad tv if you've ever seen mad tv he's one of the original cast for that which i remember watching as a kid growing up but yeah that was sort of my ToonCon experience here's some more booths of uh everyone selling stuff there was a lot of stickers and posters and resellers and uh, just all sorts of different things here at the event and this was a pretty decently priced event. If you wanted to get in with a general pass, it was like 20 bucks with tax. My ticket was 30 with tax because I got the early access ticket. And then the VIP was like 100 with tax. And then there was also a, a special VIP meet and greet booth ticket with Don Bluth for $150. And all of these had like a $10 tax, which is kind of ridiculous. It's this website called like Ticker or something or Tixit, Tixit, Tixit T-I-X-R or something like that. I, they've started like dominating the event space with uh, ticket sales or ticket sales operations. I don't like them. That's they're so expensive. Like just get an event fright or something. I don't know. But yeah, just checking out some of the Toyzilla booth, you know, because my friend David's here. He's selling, of course. He's got some Monster High stuff here. Very, very topical of him. He's always on the topical uh, hunt and grind, so to say, for merch and selling stuff. I was actually only here for a couple hours. I left maybe a little bit before noon. I didn't want to stay the full day. I bought all those VHS and they were so heavy. And oh my god, it's Professor Chaos. That's just... Oh man. There was some cosplayers here and they were pretty cool. Like there was some uh, My Hero Academia and uh, obviously Professor Chaos. And, and there was actually some Futurama cosplayers here. You know, I assume because Futurama voice actors were here. Like Phil, who is uh, Hermes from... Futurama, by the way. But that's it for today's video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to do my outro in just a second here, and I'm going to head outside and do that because I want to sit down. Again, these events don't really have, like, that many seating areas, and it's kind of unfortunate. <sighs> okay, guys, this has been ToonCon. Uh, should I start it that way? I don't know. Hey, guys, this has been Evil Anarchy. Hope you guys like this ToonCon video. ToonCon has been an absolute blast. Love this convention. We got to see so many cool people here, like uh, Eric Bauza and David, and got some great deals on some anime VHS. Didn't expect that. Highly loved that. But uh, time to get my Uber, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.